Yes, it reminds me of my journey. All I'd like to say is that uh, this moment will always remain very special in my heart. And uh, as they say that, you know, superheroes wear cape. There are a lot of superheroes which, uh, who wear uh, heels and crown as well. So the moment I won my Miss Universe India crown, I became a superhero. So, बहुत अच्छा लगता है और I just like to wish all the girls all the very best. You know, participating in a beauty pageant is just like participating in any kind of sports activity. तो जो आप sports से सीखते हैं, यानि कि you know being confident under pressure as well. So that's what you learn from beauty pageants. So I just like to wish all of them all the very best. Who wish you what were the challenges you are facing at your time? Challenges I was facing at my time was. The challenges for everybody, but I'm just so thankful that uh, that I'm just so grateful to God, to everybody who has supported me throughout every single thing that I won Miss Universe India twice. So, yeah, it, it's a great honor for me. For the contestants, do your best, forget the rest, and uh, just be the best version of yourself. That's what I like to say. And you also sign a new woman centric movie with a. Coffee with the director. Uh huh. And yeah, it's not with the and a co-star is Rajesh Sharma. Is that true? No. No. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you. ये सबसे एक्साइटिंग टाइम है एक्चुअली जो हर साल की कांटेस्ट की शुरुआत है क्योंकि मुझे एक पूरी नई बैच मिलती है नई लड़कियां मिलती हैं जिसे मैं ग्रूम और ट्रेन करती हूं और जैसे आपने कहा बहुत सारे मेमोरीज वापस आ जाते हैं क्योंकि सत्रह साल पहले मैं उन्हीं की जैसे थी थोड़ी सी मेरे पास थोड़ा सा एक्सपीरियंस था क्योंकि मैं मॉडल रह चुकी थी लेकिन फिर भी जो पैजेंट की जो दुनिया है वो बहुत अलग है और अगर आपको एक मौका मिले कि आप मिस इंडिया जीते या मिस यूनिवर्स बने तो आपकी पूरी ज़िंदगी बदल जाती है तो आज जिस जब मैं इन लड़कियों को सुनती हूँ उनके एक्सपीरियंसिस को सुनती हूँ तो बहुत सारी ऐसी चीज़ें याद आ जाती हैं जहाँ पर मैं भी बहुत नर्विस थी कुछ चीज़ों के बारे में पता ही नहीं चला था तब उस वक्त but you learn as you go along and it's an incredible journey um, it's a big responsibility being a mentor and you heard today you've had a lot of uh, information that's been made available about the contest um, I've always said that for me it's a big social responsibility because I have a lot of young women who look up to me who emulate me you know who always say we want to be just like you uh, that's a huge responsibility to have uh, but like I said I always try and impart as much as I can to them in as little as a time as I'm allowed We uh, honestly, we had a great training program uh, when we participated at that time at Femina Miss India, but we didn't have any mentors. Um, you know, at Sushmita had one, so she came in and she spoke to us, but that was just a talk that we had. So we never had access on a day-to-day -day basis to somebody who had already won an international pageant and gone through that experience. So for us, I mean, the girls are very lucky today, really, to have the opportunity to have me around them for. Uh, three weeks or four weeks the time that we film this um, because like I said as much experience as I've gained not just as in a year as Miss Universe but over 17 years of experience is something that I'm trying to put forward to them in a nutshell in um, in three or four weeks um, there are I see that the the you know the, the the pool of girls that we're getting slowly over the years has gotten smaller uh, it's very difficult to find girls today who don't automatically want to first go to Bollywood, um, you know, who are willing to give an international pageant a try. So a lot fewer girls are willing to put themselves out there. Uh, I feel that they have the confidence to do that. And, uh, you know, I want to tell them that it's an incredible opportunity. So we would love to have you. We would love to have girls who are intelligent, who are well-spoken. Uh, beauty, you know, anybody who comes to enter in a beauty pageant, 90% of the girls are very pretty looking girls. So we're not saying that the beautiful girls are less. What we're really saying is that the girls who um, have that confidence in themselves, that's getting less every year. One 
I think one key thing if you're going to come and be part of this is that you have to submit yourself to this process. You have to have a really open mind. You have to be ready to say, um, there are a lot of things that I don't know about, there are a lot of experiences that I haven't had, but I'm ready for them. And when you allow yourself to become open like that as a person, then you're ready for anything that comes your way and you really excel in it. You give it everything that you've got. Beauty icon and inspiration in Bollywood. Uh, well, I've uh, I think for me, you know, growing up in Bangalore, I didn't watch a lot of uh, you know the recent movies. As in recent, I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about when I was a kid. I didn't watch the new movies. We watched a lot of the older films. Um, so for me, you know, actresses like Saira Banu were stunning, were gorgeous. They had. Uh, you know, in the olden days, the makeup was different. They wore a lot of wigs and things like that, but they had a grace and a class. Nargis had a grace and a class that was incomparable. And uh, those are the things that I thought I wanted to emulate as an actress. I didn't want to follow the latest fashion or wear the correct eyeliner or, you know, be dressed by the in designer. It was about exuding a certain kind of a grace, a certain kind of a charm that lasted generations and not just the time that you spent in the time span of your career. If I'm offered a biopic, why not? But I think those would be uh, very difficult and hard shoes to fill. All my messages, you'll have to come and watch Femina, you'll have to watch Yamaha Faseno Miss Diva. I will give you all the messages you need, what it takes to be a model or a pageant winner right there. Uh, uh, no, Honestly, I don't think about it in terms of things. Life is organic. I have done my daughter's parvarish, which I feel like that's the way that I wanted to raise her. I have never faced this face that the paparazzi comes to me and puts his camera on me. Whenever I have met the media or the paparazzi, if I have requested that you take my picture, but excuse my daughter, they have always listened to me. So I have never had a bad experience where they have not listened to me and attacked my child or been whatever. So I think it's a give and take relationship. I know what my responsibility as a celebrity is. Uh, aisa bhi hota hai. Today, if my daughter doesn't mind it, agar wo khush hai, her expression is all right, you know, she doesn't, she's not phased by it, so I don't have a problem with it. But if my daughter is scared by what she's saying, I will protect her. That's a motherly instinct. And I think in our country, the media, the paparazzi, is a little American paparazzi ke culture. Se thodi si alag hai. So they really understand where if you request, that you're frightening the child, don't do it. They really listen, and I'm grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Aradha, go ahead. Please share your experience and uh, tell us something about your journey with Yama Fasino, Miss Diva. Please go ahead. So I, um, I was a journalist before entering this field, and uh, Miss Diva happened to me with a lot of uh, surprise because I didn't expect that I'll get through because it was first trying, uh, first time that I was trying my hands on the. Uh, pageants and I didn't know what was in store for me. I was totally blank about this industry. I I was shy to even wear a dress, let alone a bikini. So, but my mom and dad were so supportive. You know, they always told me that, you know, they told me that you don't have to worry about wearing a bikini. You know, they just want to see how fit you are and um, if you are comfortable in your own skin. And coming from parents who have have no clue about this industry, it was a surprise and it was obviously a confidence boost for me and then I, you know, decided to make every moment count to learn everything that came my way and when I was at home, I used to watch all the girls on TV and I used to be like, wow, look at the poise, the way they are talking, the way they are walking, it's so beautiful and I used to think like, how do they do that? You know, <laughs> it was a dream. It was a dream for me to be on stage with all the beautiful girls and of course Lara ma'am to mentor. 
Uh, and I, I, actually I don't have words to express how I felt walking the stage and along with my clothes that I had, you know, I didn't have many clothes, like I, I used to be a tomboy in school and I had more of jeans and t-shirts and sneakers and then heels. And when the, all the Missile organization saw my wardrobe and they were like, what? <laughs> And, uh, but I have learned, I have grown, and it's all because of you guys. You have given me the confidence to speak the way I am right now. And uh, to be very honest, I have done my masters in English, but I, I was not very fluent when I was speaking in English, when I used to speak in English. And um, I could never do this on stage, like speaking in front of so many people, in front of camera, and uh, with Lara and I'm sitting right next to me, with Gurumashi, with Asha, that, that was something... <laughs> So yeah, it was overwhelming and it was an amazing journey. I learned a lot, I have grown a lot. And um, all thanks to Miss India Organization and Lara, ma'am, and Asha, Urvashi, everyone. Everyone has been an icon for me and everyone I look up to every day and I learn every day. Thank you so much. Can we give it up for That was a really sweet one. That was really sweet. Right. Yes. So, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we are open to you, the bloggers. You'll want to ask any questions. The mics are around. I have a mic here for this section. Or you have. Please raise your hands if you want to ask questions. Go ahead. Please stand up and ask your question. It'll be really nice. Hi, Lara Ma'am. My name is Vipri. I'm a fashion blogger and a law student. I would like to know. Hello? Uh, I would like to know what is the special effort the contestants need to put in so that they win the Miss Universe contest this year? I mean, apart from winning Yamaha Miss Diva, Miss Universe 2017. No, it's a good question. So, when I asked um, what was so special about Miss France this year, that's what I asked the Miss Universe people when I met them in New York. I said, what out of a hundred and I don't know how many ever countries, what made France stand out? And the response that I got back is that the coordinators, so the countries are divided into small groups when you're participating at the pageant, and each group has a coordinator that looks after, say, four or five girls. So what I got the feedback was that the coordinators right across through the entire Miss Universe organization absolutely loved Miss France even before she came in front of any judging panel because she had a warmth and a sincerity that wasn't put on, it wasn't fake, it wasn't, you know, sort of made up. She was not a textbook beauty queen, you know. She wasn't saying the right things and dressing the right way and, you know. So she was genuinely warm and she was genuine and that's the most important thing. So I think for us today, a lot of the times the girls have watched so many past um, contests Kushmitas, Aishwarya's, Diana's, Priyanka's, mine, you know that they come with a mindset that I must stand like this and I must speak like this, you know, and I must walk like that. And it honestly, for me, when I see that, it negates the possibility of how much I can do with the girl right there. Because I'd rather have a clean slate that I can start afresh with. You know, and make you understand the fact that being a beauty queen or being a Miss Diva goes so much more beyond just the way that you present yourself when the cameras are rolling or when the judges are sitting in front of you. You know, what is it that you are like as a person? So those are the things that we work on to instill a sense of confidence in themselves within the girls. The girls are very, very young. A lot of them don't have a lot of exposure. They come from small towns. So how do you give them a worldwide view? How do you give them the confidence and the courage to stand up and actually say something that may be controversial, may be something that's not aligned with the majority way that the masses think? You know, how do you give someone that young the confidence to be able to do that? 
So those are the things that go into the training process. Those are the, those are the most important things. Apart from that, yes, we're teaching you to walk in heels, we're teaching you how to, you know, to converse, how to style yourself, how to dress, how to be presentable. Um, but it goes so much, that's why I was saying that finally at the end of the day, these girls will take something that will last them a lifetime, far beyond what they will do at a contest. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Lara, ma'am. You're looking really pretty. Thank Hi, Jane. Thank you. Okay, I just want to ask you one question. Uh, what do you think that apart from grooming and, uh, you know, giving them the voice that you're going to do for them? I can't give them the voice. I can only help. Ah. Okay. What do you think actually makes uh, a diva in the truest sense? That's what I said. That is, for me, the truest essence of a diva is exactly that. It's somebody who is totally and completely unapologetic and unafraid to be okay. herself. That is a diva. Doesn't matter if she's a diva who's winning with a crown on her head or not. You are a diva to me in my eyes if that is who you are. If you own who you are. Okay. To me, that is a diva. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Lara, you. <laughs> you're the diva of divas. We have to come from you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just one moment coming. Okay. One moment, please wait. Yes, you? Excuse me? Go ahead. Yeah. Hi. Uh, so, while Asha was talking and Aradhana was talking, I realized that both your parents have been really supportive. And, you know, when Lara you was saying that uh, in terms of the talent pool, there is talent diminishing every year, I think parental uh, consent is a huge barrier, right? So, is there something that as the platform is Diva, you can do to kind of break that? I think for me, being here and being associated with it is one of the key reasons um, that actually will provide, you know, sort of a reassurance and a comfort to a lot of, especially parents, guardians out there. Um, the idea that we're saying is give us your daughters so that we may actually make something of them. And I'm an example of what the possibility could be. So for me as a celebrity, whether it's as a, as, as a Miss Universe, as a Miss India, as an actor, there's a tremendous amount of social responsibility that comes with the way that I am projected, the things that I say, the way that I have constantly tried to conduct my life as. You know, so there is, I mean, at the end of the day, there's a lot of exploitation in the glamour world. There's a lot of exploitation, there's no getting away with that. And at some point of time, as an actress or as a beauty queen, some people that you may come you know, in, in contact with will probably exploit you. But in these three or four weeks that I get with these girls, and these girls know, I mean, every time I get a moment alone with them, all I can possibly do is try and give them enough examples on how to protect themselves from those kind of situations arising. You know, so that is exactly what I'm there for. When I'm here as a mentor, that is my job. My job is not just to groom these girls, but also to protect them. Thank you. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, please, sir. Hello, ladies. My name is Vikram. Uh, actually, I have a question for Urvashi. Uh, first of all, you look very beautiful. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and I wanted to ask that, like, uh, what was the feeling when you won Miss Diva and when you entered Miss Universe? Like, uh, how did it change your life? I'd say that uh, I became a Diva. As we all know, the Diva is an intelligent, a beautiful, and an extremely ambitious woman who know, who's really extremely good at what she does. And uh, she really works hard a lot for everything she wants in life. And it also exemplifies class, grace, and your personality. So I think that is all what I learned, being a diva and winning the title in this universe and here. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Request. Can I have a selfie with you all? Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, after this, oh, we will uh, take some pictures Thank you, Is that okay? He really, uh, I think he, Urvashi really likes you. Yeah, a lot. A big fan of yours. Big fan? Sure, big fan, right? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All right, anybody else? Yes, please. Urvashi, hi, Vedita. Hi. My question to you. What is beauty according to you and what is the style mantra you follow? Beauty for me is confidence and being beautiful inside and out, which really it's outside. I think it's very, very simple. Um, that's it. I mean, beauty for me is being who you are and being uh, confident within yourself. And style mantra is like I'm a very experimental person. I just keep experimenting a lot. I do not like simple things. And uh, yeah, I mean, I like to experiment a lot. That's what it is. I do not follow any trends or anything, but I just be myself. I'm like as crazy as Lady Gaga, maybe. So yeah, I'm a crazy girl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Any other questions outside? Thank you. Thank you. Please go ahead. You have a mic. Why don't you take this one? It'll reach faster. It happens all the time. It happened just yesterday when we were doing the final auditions. It's so difficult. You'll find two girls who will be tied with exactly the same amount, yes. the same points, and then you don't know because only one of them can make it. So then what do you do? You go with your gut. That's what they've hired me for. <laughs> they've hired me for my eye and my gut. That's what I go with. No, no. I think... <laughs> No, but you know, I'll tell you, because this is such a visual medium and it's all about first impressions, so I think if there are two girls, you have to veer towards the girl that has the most maximum um, stage presence at that point of time. Because at the end of the day, at an international contest, the judges very rarely will see you up close and personal. The most of the time, they see you right on stage. So it's about the kind of effect that you have and the impact that you have what you exude when you're standing there. So most of the time, it'll boil down to that. Also, I have a question for Anuradha and Asha. Have you ever Arana. felt... Uh, Arana, sorry. Have you ever felt that someone, like, uh, like your colleagues, your contestant colleagues, they are saying a life to you, like, have you been ever afraid of them? I mean, see, I know you guys stay really cool like friends and all, but have you been ever afraid of uh, anyone else, like any, any of them? No, I can, um, I compete with myself. I see how I was yesterday, how am I today, and where I want to see myself tomorrow. So when you have that mindset, so it doesn't matter who's next to you or how that person is working hard. I'm like a horse. When I'm in a pageant, then I, you know, groom, uh, groom on myself, work on myself, so that I give my best. It's okay, it's a pageant. We all are competing to win. It's okay, even if my friend is competing, that's great. I'll support her. At the same time, I'll work on myself. So the fear of fact, inferiority complex, yes, of atai If you believe in yourself. Thank you. I totally second uh, uh, Asha and Rash. Because for me, when I was there in the pageant, uh, I made friends for a lifetime. Come on. I made friends who were still there with me, who came for my finale. I was in Miss India too, so they came for my finale and they cheered for me like how. And they have always been so supportive. So I don't think there is any competition. Uh, with, uh, and they, it should not be actually, you should not compete with a person who is next to you. Lara has always taught us that. And she has always told, Ki, um, be, uh, be your better self every day. So like Asha said already. So I think uh, we were never scared. I think we always enjoyed what we were doing. That's it. <laughs>